Hey YouTube, Big Hot 762 here. What you're looking at is a K Bar 1247 Warthog. This is the original Warthog. Let me just pull it out of the sheath here. And look at that, isn't that cool? That's about a five and three quarter inch blade. Comes with this neat Kydex sheath, I think it is. Might be, I'm not sure exactly, but it's an ambidextrous sheath. And you'll notice it has the same handle as the classic fighting utility knife. This is the Kraton version. They never made these with stacked leather handles. But uh, other than that, it's the same handle as the classic fighting utility. A little bit of wear on it. Um, I've had this one for 14 or 15 years. But uh, they discontinued the Warthog in 2006, if I recall correctly. So, with the discontinuing, when they discontinued this knife, I was a little paranoid to actually use it because if I were to damage it or lose it or something were to happen, I can't replace it. Or if I did replace it, it would be kind of expensive because they're slightly collectible. They're not real valuable, but there there is some collector market for them. Now. You're probably saying, hey, they still make the Warthog, or they make a different version of it. Yeah, they do. This is the heavy Warthog. This blade, though, let me move that sheath out of the way. You'll notice that knife is quite a bit bigger. Quite a bit bigger. Quite a bit heavier, too. Quite a bit thicker. Right about a quarter inch, I think. Roughly. Maybe just a hair thinner. Anyway, this knife is a beefy, beefy knife, but it's not as light or nimble or it's just not the original Warthog. It looks similar, but they're really totally different knives. There's, I mean, other than the look, they're really nothing, nothing alike. So, anyway. Few years ago, decided I wanted to uh, find something close. The, the closest thing I could that I could actually take outside and use without worrying about breaking it or damaging it or anything. And um, this was probably three or four years ago. So I started looking for whatever knife I could find that was, you know, five and a half inch blade or so. And someone turned me on to the Becker BK2. It's a pretty awesome knife. Blade length's pretty close. However, anyone who's familiar with the BK2 knows that this thing is a quarter inch thick. It is heavy. It's a great knife. I'm glad I bought it. I don't regret it at all. But it's a heavy knife. It just doesn't... It's nowhere near this. This is a fairly light knife. Nice. Thin blade, good slicing. This one will certainly get the job done, and then some. But that's not what I was looking for. <sighs> maybe something a little thinner, like a BK10 maybe? But like I said, this was three or four years ago. BK10 wasn't even in the works. And I missed out on the limited edition run, which was like twice what I wanted to spend anyway. So, that was off the table. So, you know, kind of gave up for a while, made do with other things. I came across the Condor Rodan. A lot of people like to compare this to the BK2. I guess they have a similar blade shape, but uh, this one is only 3 16 thick. So it's quite a bit lighter than the BK2. Or at least it feels that way in my hand. I don't know what they weigh for sure, but um, this was getting closer. This was getting closer, but it's not quite there. Not quite there. Finally, the BK10 came out. And I was like, yes, but not quite. You know, I love this knife. See, it's already got some use on it. It's a great knife. I waited so long for this knife to come out. And I'm not disappointed in it, 
it's exactly what I expected in this knife, but it's not this knife. Oh, it is awesome. Love that knife. Searching around a little bit more. I'm like, what? what is closer to the Warthog? I came across this. This is the Ontario SP46. Full flat grind, 3 16 inch thick, Craton rubber handle. It's pretty close, actually. Blade shape isn't... doesn't have the same blade shape, but still got a nice wide blade. Very good balance. Fairly light for the size it is. A lot of positive reviews out there. Um, there's also an SP47, which is this exact same knife, but it has a saber grind as opposed to the full flat grind. Other than that, they're the same knife. Comes with this little cheesy shoelace lanyard here. I'm going to throw that away. But I wanted to show you what this light knife looks brand new. And then here's the sheath. Meh. Gross. Sheath sucks. Also, the sheath is way too big. Let me show you here. That sheath is way too big. What it is, I'm pretty sure, is that Ontario makes several of these Spec Plus knives, all different sizes, and so the sheath is just generic. It fits probably several different models, and so it's just kind of a way to save money having one sheath for several knives. And um, but you know what? Fifty-five bucks, whatever. I can get a sheath. I can make a sheath. So I'm gonna replace the sheath. Get an actual 550 cord lanyard on here, but this is pretty close. This is really, really close to this. If you're looking for one of these and you want a knife that you can use and not worry about damaging because you can't replace it, get this. This is this is pretty close for the feel and. You know, I haven't had a chance, obviously I haven't had a chance to really use it, but a lot of the videos on YouTube, favorable reviews, feels really close. So, I'm going to do a few modifications, and then I will take it out and show you what I think. And I'll even compare it to some of these other knives here. So stay tuned for some more blade goodness. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.